from the last meeting two years ago when her both won 2 1, cheered by those inside the ground and others who spied a window of opportunity. They had a clear view as Wraith were denied a penalty in the 11th minute. Sean Dennis starting the move with a long ball to Jason Dare. He collected again to find Tony Rogier on the right, but his cross appeared to come off the hand of John Crawford. The re referee Bobby Orr, who had as good a view as us, thought otherwise. You can judge for yourself. Rovers won this trophy on penalties last season and today spot kicks had a say in the outcome. Penalty number one coming up, Stevie Crawford getting the better of Pat Clark, but as he made his way goward, he was brought down. Referee Orr took a few seconds to point to the spot and in replay questions could be asked if the foul was inside the area. David Kirkwood made it look easy and the race fans settled down for an entertaining afternoon. and they almost had something else to cheer about a couple of minutes later when Rogier collected a bad pass but he shot against the keeper from whites of the eyes distance. Five minutes from the break, our bros get back in level terms again from the penalty spot. No doubt about this one as Steve McCormack goes crashing after a challenge by Sean Dennis. Look at it again, he controls well, moves into the penalty area and there's Dennis's leg bringing him to the ground. McCormack dusted himself off, took it himself with some aplomb, and wasn't he delighted? His joy, though, wasn't shared by Jimmy Nichol, the Wraith Rovers manager. Their Bros fans reminded everyone of previous Cup glories, but their Coca-Cola hopes were dashed this year, early in the second half. Moving down the left, Crawford cut inside, and Pat Clark made two attempts to bring him down before succeeding. Clark appeared to body check his man in the first instance, but Crawford kept his feet before they were taken away from him by their Bros defender. David Kirkwood picked his spot high into the net, making better viewing for Jimmy Nicholl, who by this time had come down to the track side. There was frustration too for the Wraith manager when Rogier picked up this back heel from Colin Cameron and ran at pace at their Bros defence. Found space, but Alec Taylor took the shot off his toes. The Trinidad player who was named Sponsors Man of the Match almost got his name on the score sheet after that. Again he drove at the defence before aiming a left foot shot for the corner of the net. And this one produced a fine save from Chris Hinchcliffe. The big man, there's no doubt, is sure to be a favourite with these fans this season. And Wraith's other big man, Ali Graham, somehow managed the miss of the game in the dying stages. Rougie has set him up, but at the second attempt and from unmissable range, he hit the post. He won't get many chances as good as that this season. By the end, though, this was an easier win than the scoreline might suggest. But as John Brogan, the Abroath manager, put it, his team were hammered 2-1.